In this video, I'll demonstrate how to receive a push notification on iPhone when a hidden CCTV camera detects motion as I enter the room. The security camera is connected to an iDVR Pro video surveillance DVR like the one shown here using RG59 coax cable. The software of the DVR is what actually detects the motion event and triggers the push notification. Let's start by configuring the DVR. From the DVR's main menu, select System Setup, and then select Network and Email. You need to set up an SMTP server. I'm going to use Gmail, and I have details on the website of how to set up a Gmail SMTP server, and there's a link to that. Next, go over to Event and select Event Notification. We're using a push service called Pushover that actually uh, takes an email and then sends a push notification. And I'll also give you a link here to instructions on how to set up the pushover service and they'll give you an email address that you'll add into this box here. And then next go to motion sensor being that we're going to use uh, motion as the event to trigger the push notification and the camera we're going to use is on channel 16. We check the box here for email notifications for camera 16. I'm going to switch back to the live view of our cameras on the DVR. Actually, I have the video frozen for a minute because I want to point out a few things. The smoke detector camera that I'm using on channel 16 is the one that we just configured to trigger the push notification via that special email address. Notice the letter C in the upper right hand corner of the other three cameras. I only have camera 16 set up to record on motion only, and when there's no motion, there'll be that square displayed in the upper right hand corner. When I enter the door in a second from across the room, you'll see that the square in the upper right hand corner of channel 16 turns to a capital M. This means that the DVR is now recording based on motion detection and I should receive a push notification on my iPhone also. So this is what the event looked like live on the DVR and I'm going to switch over a second. I also recorded this on my iPhone so you can see the event on the iPhone live and when I get the push uh, notification, you can also see that. So I'm going to switch to a view of my iPhone now to show you what it looked like when the event was triggered so you can see what the push notification looked like looks like on the phone. Um, I was recording the entire video from my iPhone as well so we could see that. Uh, and you'll see in a second, uh, the push message will uh, appear uh, in the upper part of the screen. There's a few second delay between when the event occurs and when the message is received. So there it is right there, and notice the event occurred at 12, 27, and 34 seconds. So now I'm going to play back the recorded video from the iPhone app. So here's a live view in the iPhone app, and if I single tap on the screen, that bring up, brings up the menu. From the menu, I tap on Log View. And when the Log View screen appears, I'm going to select a time and date range. And remember, the event happened at approximately uh, 1227, so I'm going to select that as the start time. And then I'm going to filter by motion, because I know I'm looking for a motion detection event. And there's all the events that occurred in that time frame. And I'm going to tap on the one at 1227. And the recorded video surveillance will begin playing back in the iPhone app like this. If I single tap on the screen, it brings up the menu, and I can switch the video quality to high definition. And I'm not going to do it here, but you can actually play the video in forward and reverse in normal time and in fast time, so you'll fast forward and fast reverse. And another thing worth noting is in addition to motion detection, these alarms can also be triggered by external sensors like door sensors and motion detectors and things like that. And then I'm just going to switch the iPhone app back to the live view. And here's a live view of uh, camera one on the system. Here is a picture of the hidden smoke detector camera that was used to capture the surveillance footage for this video. This tiny dot is where the pinhole camera lens peeks out. This is an excellent camera for covert surveillance applications. You can learn more about the camera on this page. The camera was connected to an iDVR Pro CCTV DVR. The software built in the DVR is what was configured to detect the motion from the camera and trigger the push message event. For more information about iDVR Pro, please visit www.idvrpro.com. Thank you for watching.